Hi guys! Hello. So it is a gloomy Saturday in Dallas. Uh, however, that's not gonna stop us. <laughs> no, uh, it's supposed to rain later. Hopefully the rain stays away for a bit. But uh, where are the farmers market here in Dallas? Because uh, this one wants some fresh fruits and vegetables, especially after we hit up the one in Florida. She's like, hey, the one for Dallas is happening this weekend. Can we go? And I said, <laughs> I guess. <laughs> but uh, that's what we're going to do. We're also going to eat uh, delicious food because that's the only reason I came was for the food. Yeah, she just comes along for the food and that's okay. I get to go to the market. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and then we might do some other things. Um, we have all Saturday. I have no plans other than this farmer's market. So come to my chaos and enjoy as we go shop for some veggies and I get food. And we go forward. Maybe with some other goods, too. Who knows what I'm doing today, <laughs> other than this. So, join us, and I hope you have a good time. Let's go. All right. Let's go get into some trouble. Oh, boy. Trouble, here we come. <laughs> <laughs> okay. We made it. Perfect market day today. Is it? Yeah. It's not cold. It's not hot. A little breeze going through. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Uh... I didn't bring a jacket. She didn't want to listen to me. I told her to bring one. Listen, uh, it's supposed to be like 65. So I was like, nah, it's I'm cool. It's going to be cloudy all day. Yeah, that's okay. I thought about wearing a long sleeve shirt, but then I thought I'd be too hot. You're ready. It's too much body. So, so, all right. We're going over here to the shed. Which is where all the vendors are at for the market. And then, of course, there's shops all along here. And then inside. But first, let's go to the shed. Yeah? Yeah. You have what you want to get in mind? Not yet. It's gonna tell me what the market tells me to get. <laughs> I thought you had a plan. <laughs> Never. <laughs> Fruits and vegetables first, that's for sure. Where are they at? I'm on the back side over here. Alright, so we've only been in this market once, right? Once? Yeah. Yeah. Guys, maybe? I don't know. But they definitely have firewood. Oh. You want farm fresh eggs? No. Okay. You want cauliflower? Are we making anything with cauliflower? I am. Okay. Then you want to keep looking? I want to look first and then we'll grab it. Okay. Hot chili oils. Alright, well come on, let's walk. So many dogs. Did you want anything pickled? No? I don't think so, anything pickled. Okay. No pickles? Okay. I'm doing good. I, I don't know what smells good, but it's... Do you need some fresh mushrooms? No, I don't need fresh mushrooms. Oh yeah, okay. There's your big thing of honey. Yeah. There's fresh hummus. Okay. Hello. I think we got most of our meats. We eat vegan vegetarian most of the week anyways. Mexican wedding cookies? What are those? Oh, those are little, uh, like powdered sugar cookies. Oh, okay. Or the cinnamon ones. 
Okay, white powdered or cinnamon? Yeah, please. Fermented what? I think these are all the wares. So you gotta go back the other way. Yeah. Find you some vegetables. We well, can come back through and look in a second, okay? Okay. We'll go back this way. I don't have babies. Yeah. <laughs> blended seasoning. We'll check it out in a minute. But first we gotta find vegetables. And then you can find your goods. But I don't, I don't see vegetables yet. I think they might be on the other side. I think it might be across the street. Okay, well we can walk that way. T-Rex pickles. I don't need pickles. If you want some bread, you should probably get it now before they sell out. Did you want any? Yeah, sourdough. You want some sourdough? I mean, you can make French toast on sourdough. Yeah, I can. Okay, you wanna grab some? Yeah, we grab some. Okay, and then we go find the veggies. Okay guys, so we kind of left the shed. There is public parking right there, which is where we parked. But if you come across the way to Sweet Harvest, this is where they got a lot of the fresh produce, which is what we're really after. I don't know if this is part of like the actual farmer's market. However, um, it's got what we really want, which is all the produce. So we did pick up some sourdough bread um, from that one place. So super excited for that. Make that with grilled cheese or French toast, but let's go get some fruits and vegetables and then, uh, yeah, head back there and do all the goods and wares. All right, so we got some cauliflower. A couple of carrots. Look how big them carrots are. These are really big carrots. Yeah, they are. Make some good carrot fries. Carrot fries. Maybe we'll show y'all one day. Zucchini. So, zucchini. That's squash. Squash. <laughs> we'll pull out the zucchini. It's in there. Zucchini's here. There you go. Oh. And we got some berries. Fresh blueberries. Blackberries. And Brussels sprouts. All the sprouts. And then we also got some romaine. It's a really big romaine. Yes. And then my sourdough. I came prepared with my bags because I knew they were going to throw it in here. That's okay. We so, can use those because I think you said you wanted to stop by Whole Foods, right? We can yeah. use the rest of them. Yeah, but I'm going to put the Brussels sprouts in here. They all fit in here. Yes. So we're we're just dropping that stand is where we got all of this. There's we couldn't find anywhere at like the actual farmers market that we just walked around um, at the shed here at the Dallas Farmers Market. Um, but that place that we were just at, they're open seven days a week, um, and all of this um, costs thirty five. Yeah, it wasn't bad. It's everything's fresh. Oh yeah, and it's all it's all it's family owned as well. It, yeah, and it's all uh, very big compared to what you find in like the grocery store. yeah the grocery stores so uh we definitely have to make one more stop because we're missing tofu um where we live at we can't find it at the moment so we gotta go to whole foods so you guys get to go on a whole food trips with us <laughs> but yeah those are our fruits and vegetables at least done for now <laughs> and uh this parking lot um it 
it doesn't go up up is residence down is where you can continue to park but this place wasn't full when we got here probably like i don't know 20 minutes ago and now it's filling up the farmer's market so that you know opens at 10 on saturday they also have different events going on um since on instagram dallas farmer's market all one word check them out if you're in the dallas area you live around here uh real nice spot but uh we're gonna keep going on our adventure and find more goodies and then meet some food okay jazz is looking at vintage teas This is where, if you see some of our videos, that she has some vintage style teas. This is where she gets them from. And I'll um, have her put the guy's booth's name and his Instagram information. We'll put it in the description if you're a Dallas local and you want to check them out. Luke, gross. <laughs> Luke, right? I think we're in the country part. No, yeah, Nirvana. They're kind of all mixed in. The Beatles. Panic at the Disco. Oh, like, they retired. They retired? Yeah. Thomas Rhett. A little bit of everything. Aaliyah. Chris Young. Led Zeppelin. DC DC Live. Okay. Alright. Alright. This go around. I mean, you haven't checked over here yet. All right, we're gonna keep looking. All right, so we shopped. We're going in here now. Oh, it hit me. All the smells hit me. And the first thing she does is go to the candles. It smells so good. You're supposed to smell like different places. I guess in Texas? Here in Dallas area. Oh. Well, Lake Highlands. Okay, okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Look, they have a Selena book. The Valdoria. That's jazz to me. <laughs> <laughs> Little shop's cool. She she's already picked up a candle. She keeps looking, so I'm gonna I'm gonna keep walking. <laughs> oh boy! All right. I like this one for like my nephews. Blame it all on my toots. <laughs> bet because <laughs> they're stinky boys okay we love the store we got some goods now it's on to get my shirt and then some food and then hell if I know what we're doing next <laughs> winning tejas here's another shop that one's pretty cool. We've been in there, but it's been a minute. This is where we're going. I think it's called Echo Deco. Yeah. Howdy, witches. That's not what I'm here for. It might be inside. <laughs> no idea what I'm doing. Basically, that's me.
this one. <laughs> we have two things in common. We're mythical Chef Josh. We all gotta eat and we all gotta die. Not what I'm here though for y'all. Right here. That's what I'm here for. <laughs> Jazz is checking out. That's Echo Deco. I got my shirt. And now I'm gonna go over here and eat. Hello? I guess Hello? <laughs> Hello? Hello? Okay, let's go. You ready? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> All right, we're eating. What are we eating in here today? Yeah. Could be Beyond Burgers. Look, produce. Pineapple. People are yelling at me through songs. It's called Kelly Produce. And then there's a butcher table over here. One day we might actually pick up something from the butcher. Alright. There's tacos. Sushi. Yeah. There's pizza over here. This is a bar. Second so tap. It's really, really loud. There's ice cream. Have we had the pizza yet? I think we've had the pizza. It was okay. There's another shop. We'll go check that out afterwards. Yeah? I mean, I, I mean, I don't even... <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, cost. Oh, there's bought me. <laughs> All right, so there used to be an Indian food place, and I think it's gone. So I don't know what I'm gonna eat. I think they moved to the hall. You think so? Because it used to be like right there, where the 57 Bakery is. So what am I gonna eat? Oh my God! Nobody knows what I'm gonna eat. What do they got? They got frozen margs. Frozen margs? Uh -huh. You're gonna eat? Only a margarita. <laughs> Liquid diet only. Um, you know what you're getting? Okay, give us a sec, we're gonna figure out what we're eating. Lunch in a box. Boop, boop. Lunch in a box. Baguette. Baguette with butter. Bread bites. Yeah, I think this should be yours. It's called the Snitch. It is salami. What else? Spicy mayo and cheese. And I think it had like arugula at the bottom or lettuce. One of them too. Okay. Oh, yours is nice and hot. Yep, mine's hot. mine's a hot. So hers is a cold sub. Mine's a hot sub. It is called the Sweet Italian. So it's prosciutto mozzarella and fig jam what sold me was the fig jam 
but uh, it's over here from this little uh, booth behind us. Um, watch Jazz struggle for something. <laughs> I wasn't gonna litter. Mm -hmm. I didn't see the receipt in between them. That's okay. But uh, we'll show you guys the booth that we got it from uh, here in a second. Uh, we decided to go on sandwiches because we had, <clears throat> excuse me guys, homemade tacos last night. And um, we always eat like Indian or Thai food when we come into Dallas. So we thought we'd try to do something a little different and give you guys a different perspective. Um, but yeah, the next best thing was the Thai food, but we thought we would try these sandwiches. So yeah, everything is uh, homegrown, homemade, home, everything. Yeah. Uh, bread is not made here. It is um, either made at a bakery in McKinney or somewhere right up the road. I don't remember where he said. So, uh, source locally everything. But yeah, we're going to dig in and see how good or not good these sandwiches are. There it is. In all its glory. Tasty. Tasty? Mm -hmm. Good. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That'll probably come off through uh, this mill. But she took a big bite and I was like, oh, there's all the colors. And that's a fat stack of cheese on that. Like super fat. It has right. cracked pepper on it. Cracked pepper. Even better. Okay. Oh, that looks yummy. A little cheese pull. And see the steam? Yeah. Okay, here we go. Oh, that cheese pull. Yeah. Uh -huh. Looks yummy. <laughs> okay, well, we're gonna eat some and then we'll let y'all know how it goes, guys. Mm -hmm. For now, it's a yay. Mm -hmm. Was it good? Yeah. Okay. But next time we share. Share? Share? Yeah. Yeah, because you didn't eat it all. Mine was a really big sandwich. It was. I didn't think it'd be that big. I mean, he kind of told us how big it was. Oh, well, I mean, I know, but I mean, as far as like thickness, it had a lot. Oh, um, thick? Yeah. Well, I ate all of mine. It was good. Yeah. And uh, we didn't eat all the bread, but it was good. The butter um, tasted like it was like hand yeah, or hand whipped. Yeah. But yeah, uh, I, I would give it a nine out of 10. I've had better sandwiches um, daily, Monday through Friday uh, from Chef Jazz over here. Uh, it is uh, peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. The, the butcher box was like over there. They had PB and J's, and you could get grape or strawberry, and you can make it hot. But those were like five bucks, so I didn't want to pay five dollars for a PB and J. Maybe it's a nice sourdough. Yeah, and the butter. I don't know about all that. Maybe next time, if I'm like, I don't, I haven't had enough PB and J's during the week. We'll try it. But now we're gonna go like walk that way. And, uh, yeah, see what trouble we can get into. Hey, guys. <laughs> so, we just finished shopping. When we get home, we'll show you some of our goods that we got that we didn't film. Hey guys, Future Jess here. Uh, I gotta show you what we got from the farmer's market. Aside from our beautiful vegetables, which we have already consumed in their entirety. So, uh, let's start off with um, Echo Deco, which I know we stopped at. And we got my shirt, but I also picked up a hat. A hat that is appropriate with the shirt. Um, because I don't have enough hats. Um, and this was 25 bucks, but, uh, yeah, there it is. I'm, uh, officially ready to represent all the trash pandas. 
um, and vibe with them. So a hat seemed fitting with my shirt, and you'll see why in a second. And this shirt was also 25 bucks. But there we go. Live fast, eat trash. I think that's the motto of the trash pandas. I feel like I have been indoctrined into their uh, world and I'm ready to embrace it 100% because who doesn't like to eat? Duh. Um, and then I don't remember the name of the other shop, but it's the one where uh, we walked in and we were smelling all the different candles. Um, and Jazz picked up a candle from there. Go figure. Uh, pecan praline or pecan con you tell me um but it's from white rock soap gallery i don't exactly remember what this smelled like to be quite honest yep cool definitely pecan praline um so yeah and it's a soy wax candle i don't remember how much this was but she got it she also got another uh i don't know if she's gonna use this as a travel makeup bag um, because I have, she has a couple of them, but, uh, this is what she got. Classy, but I cuss a little. And I think that suits her pretty well. She's, uh, a classy sailor. Classy sailor. And then lastly, um, we picked up some pins while we were there, those enamel pins. She got one of her friends, um, a pin, which I think she's already given to them and everything like that. But I grabbed this uh, because I thought it was hilarious and I'm putting it on my backpack for work. Um, but it says, hell was full, so I'm back. It's going on my backpack officially now so that I can uh, wear it proudly at work. And then lastly, we went to, uh, let me read what it says. Bullzerk. That's the name of the shop. I knew it started with a B. Couldn't remember the name of it. I'm glad it's on this bag. Uh, but, like, our Tampa picture frame, I don't know if you guys can see it, it's up there. Um, when we live in different states and we are um, projecting to move rather soon, uh, fingers crossed, um, we ended up getting um, a map of the area of which we lived in that's something that we plan on doing because we plan on living in multiple different places um throughout our life and you guys get to join us on that journey but being that we are anticipating moving within at least the next year and a half uh we went ahead and picked up this really cool picture um i don't think we would have been able to find this style anywhere else and it already came framed so i didn't have to hunt for a frame like i do with all my other pictures and it takes months because i forget i need frames anyways we got it from the shop there's the name of the shop with their website if you guys want to check it out but that's what we got it's a uh, dallas texas with this longitude and latitude and everything like that, northwest. And yes, that is what Dallas looks like. A jumbled mess. But I think all giant metroplexes kind of look like that. I'm pretty sure if I lived in Los Angeles or San Diego area, this is what it kind of would look like anyways. Um, but yeah, I couldn't exactly point out uh, where the farmer's market is in this area. Uh, for you guys who can, congratulations. You can read this way better than me. But I thought it was a really cool print. Um, it will go nicely with the Tampa one. That Tampa one, however, was printed by a local artist. Um, this one, I think, is kind of more mass-produced. They had different um, colors and variations, but we just thought we'd keep it black and white. Super classy. Um, but yeah, this will get hung up eventually somewhere on the wall. When I decide a place, because the long boards are taking up most of the space right now. But, uh, yeah, that's what we picked up at the farmer's market and through the shops and everything through there. Highly suggest that you go check it out. And, uh, so, back over to farmer's market, Jess and Jazz.
But uh, it has been a couple hours yeah. since everything. <laughs> so uh, we're gonna call it here. Um, we're gonna take you. Hello? <laughs> Hello? We were gonna take you guys with us to Whole Foods and stuff like that. Um, but we're just gonna make quick runs on that. So uh, this is what you get farmer's market. And I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, we definitely come. Yeah, we definitely did. It's warmed up. So it feels great. Uh, great goods, great food, great people. Everyone has been nice the whole time. Yeah. So uh, until next time. Don't forget to stop by your local farmer's market. Support local. Yeah, support local guys. And uh, we will actually be seeing you guys around. Until then, take care.